So today I went out and did a little Goodwill thrifting and I ran across these two vases. And as you can see, they have pretty good bone. They're not the correct color, but they have really, really nice bones. This one in particular reminds me of something that you may see at Pottery Barn. And I'll put up an inspiration photo here, as well as this one. So this one, I believe I'm going to paint gold, that brassy gold spray paint that I have. I'm, I'm gonna use it here in the kitchen for fall and this one i am going to be spray painting a matte black color so this one was 4.99 and then this one was 3.99 so not a bad deal when you consider how much those large vases at pottery barn cost so let me get these cleaned up and spray paint it and i'll come back and show you how we're going to style them I also found this wood bowl. It was $1.99, yeah, $1.99, and I just love the way it looked. I can step back here, and I thought it looked like this bowl, and I'll put up a photo here, and it looks like this one from Pottery Barn. Again, it's like, $60 and I picked this one up for $1.99 and so with these pieces I think we can get that same looks look for less and that's what we're gonna do. So this is how our vase is looking after a good coat of spray paint and I absolutely love it. And I am going to be using this vase here in the kitchen to bring in that warmth for fall. So I'm gonna grab some florals, a few other things, and then we're going to come back and style our island with this vase. All right, so this is how the island has looked for summer. I liked it, it was very simplistic. This bowl was a DIY. It's just two pieces I put together from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna change this out and we are going to do a centerpiece using the gold vase that I recently picked up. Now, because we are not into true fall, I'm, it's more of a pre-fall type of season. I am bringing out these really pretty florals that I picked up from Target. I believe I got these last year. So they give me a fall vibe and they look really good against this gold. And so we're gonna use those for now. And then as it gets closer and is actually fall, then we'll change them out, change them out to like a deep burgundy maple leaf color. 
So let's start working on our arrangement. All right, so we're gonna get started with our arrangement. And I really love the color of these florals, as you can see, very, very nice. So perfect pre-fall color, like the leaves are just starting to turn. So we're gonna put them in as you know, I like to have my florals look organic, kind of wild in nature. And I always start out creating my arrangements going north, south, east, and west. So we're gonna start with all of our green florals first. have like a cluster of white roses on either side to balance out the arrangement. the arrangement until I get it looking how I want. So this is how the space is looking and it's okay but I'm not really in love with it I love the floral arrangement but I think these two pieces 
compete with a vase and I need something smaller. So let me switch out a few things. So take this away. And <clears throat> so I have this candle, absolutely love it. I love the detail on it. It brings in the brass that we're going for. It smells really, really good. It's an apple an apple type smell for fall and I like the little brass detail on that so I think I'm going to switch out the candle to this one it's smaller and then this is a smaller vase that I DIY just using some bowls so it still gives me the same look as these two larger pieces but on a smaller scale and I think I just like this better. All right, so I changed out the larger pieces and I added these smaller pieces and I've taken the wood top from the candle and just set it here on the tray. And the warmth of the wood and the gold is perfect for fall. So I absolutely love the way it looks. Now the other pieces were just too large for the tray and it was just taken away from the vase and the florals, but this is absolutely perfect. Love it, love it, love it. So now, let's light up the candle and create a little ambiance, shall we? creates the perfect ambiance here in the kitchen and I know it will look so so nice in the evening time when all you can see is the amber glow from the candle it will be so pretty so I absolutely love this look let me know what you think leave me a comment down below now let's add our wood bowl to the, not to the look, but let's change it up and use the wood bowl and see what we think about it. Start with a blank tray and we're gonna add our wood bowl. And I love the warmth that the bowl is giving to the tray. And I have this pod that I picked up from Target last year and I like the way it looks too. Let's add some florals and see how we like that. All right, let's throw in some peonies Oops. to the look. have these little balls so maybe add these in as well it's kind of hard to do with one hand so hold on a second all right let's give you a closer look so we've got the white peonies which I think look really nice against the green pod Again, something different 
and unique thinking outside the box on this one. I have to play around with the placement of everything to get it to sit the way I want here in the bowl. So I like that. Let's stick this one down inside. Like so. And then maybe this one up here on the top. We can get it to stay. organic fall floral piece. Let's take a closer look. So this is how the wood bowl is looking here on the tray and to be honest with you I think this is more my style than the gold vase I like the the gold I think it's the vase that I'm not really in love with and I'll put up a photo of them side by side which one do you think looks better and which one is more my style? I actually think this one is more my style and I'm sorry for the refrigerator and that you can hear my boyfriend walking around upstairs. So, but yeah, this is how this one is looking. Absolutely love it. And now our last and final face. Let's take a look at that. All right, so here's the face that we picked up also from the Goodwill, it's $4.99. To me, it looks similar to the Joshua vase from Pottery Barn. And so now that we added an extra layer of the chalk paint, it's still not quite dry, but I like it a lot better. I don't know, there's something about that matte finish that, or that black spray paint that I, I didn't really like. So now we are going to style it with some of these. I have to thin these a little. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, so we're going to use some of this greenery that we picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to thin the stems and we're just going to style this in the base. And I think two of these be more than enough and it's gonna give us that wild modern organic look that we want okay all right so this is how it's looking absolutely love this one as well so let's take a closer look So this is how our third and final vase has turned out and I absolutely love it. Very Pottery Barn-esque. This only cost us $4.99 and I think the Joshua vase is around $99 to $1.99 depending on how big you get it. 
and I think we achieved that luxe look for less. And our vase looks just as nice as the Joshua vase. So guys, always think outside the box. I know a lot of people don't like to go thrift shopping. They don't want to get things secondhand. But if it saves you money, guys, why not? And you get that same look, like this face actually, I think it was from, um, I don't wanna say Better Homes and Garden. I don't wanna lift it up. It was a, that or, oh, I forget. I'll have to look at it later and tell you and leave it in on the description box or um, link down below. But we just painted it and it, it was red and it gave us a whole new look. So if you are all about saving money, you don't have to go out and spend tons and tons of money on your home decor. You can get that same looks, look for less, and that is what my channel is all about. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style on a budget, and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. And one of the ways I do that is by budget decor shopping. And that means going to the thrift store sometimes. So absolutely love how these three pieces came out. And I hope you do as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Option number one, option number two, or option number three. So if you have enjoyed today's content and it has inspired you, please make sure to give the video two thumbs up, not just one, but two. And leave me a comment down below. If it's your first time here, let me know what you're liking or if you're liking what you have seen so far. I will leave a couple of videos down below if you want to check out more of my style. And guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate so, so much all of your support. We just reached 7,000 subscribers on our little channel and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys always leave me such warm and positive comments and I so, so, so appreciate it. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one.